everybody. Slick the way it is. I do not know why. This happened. Hello? I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. We just Hello? walk into the thing. Anybody Not walk. Home? Just. An intruder, or one of them. <laughs> Blood. These people might need more help than I do. Unicorn. they brought you black back here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Knife in this drawer. Is it, is it this, this drawer, right? Nope. It's this one. <sighs> we could have could just stabbed him. He shot him for the sake of shooting him. Mm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, now I'm just robbing. What's that beeping? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Finally, you're fine. Maybe there's something on there. Oh, God. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Sweden for the zone. 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Father does not look anything like the Zamboodle. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. I've seen mods in this game. Or at least the fourth one. I mean, last one. Which is the fourth one? It's just funny. How old are you? Eight. Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? 
I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? Hello. I can see you through the window. Freaking goblin. <laughs> goblin child. <laughs> oh, <that gets> <laughs> Not ready for a quick time event, Telltale. Tough off. Kick her in the face. She's a defenseless woman. I just kick her in the face. I just jump the fence for her in the face. Now I punch her. I swear now. <laughs> She just said no. To offend so <laughs> What's the achievement called Avengers and Babysitting? No. <laughs> That's just sad. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> it's called Hi there. Is it? Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Sometimes they come that. back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. No. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Does she have a separate on the number? I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Our game's not true. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. You choose the safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. We got a frickin' goblin I'm a child. And so I have I love how as soon as we get to the thing. Oh, it's a walk saw. Walk stuff. Walk stuff. Did you say suck? No, Clementine's going this way. We follow. We follow. We follow the, Lee's new daughter. She's never had a daughter. Lee's daughter now. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. That sounds well, weird. Let's go okay. somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. I might give him plug in. What kind of make sure? Uh. I just replugged it. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Oh, wait! Farm. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hi, Chet. <laughs> you shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... 
Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's come out. Come on, go. Leave quick. Let's go. Get ready for the X. Close enough. <laughs> Clementine, help! <laughs> Goblin! For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. You <laughs> just chuck. You chuck. I chuck. In your charge, which I'm guessing means you say on the time first time. So I have played this game. No, I have not played this game. My first playthrough, and I've seen multiple playthroughs and multiple reactions to the end. Oh God, the end is just sad. Gotcha. Up. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. It's Bill from to be bad Bl here too. Left, left as usual the past couple days. Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's... Well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? The cities. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows her name. <laughs> That's just ominous. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Nowhere. There's, we hit no option you can say one of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. <laughs> I don't think knows how big it is yet. Your son's right, you're gonna wanna fortify this place. It's 
Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Just, just the Lee and those squire. folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. The animation is clean, but there's your leg gets hot or clips. The doesn't go down, you're okay. Put your gasoline on the fashion There's more. blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It literally the legs of Cassia like... Duck and Kenny. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just plops. like that. Okay then. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Claire. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Glad didn't give us an exact number we had to put in. <laughs> give us your record info. Which would be your last name? Maybe your dad. I love you, baby. <laughs> 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 If you choose only square for a for this, you're just basically hey, only being you know. silent. <laughs> well, I forgot. Well, I'm itchy. well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor. Oh, it's duck. Duck and it's murder. You better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. Yes. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. Smile. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, Duck, the better. do not go on the tractor. Build a fence. Duck, no. Yeah? Duck, well, I see I need you there. Foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water yeah. break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to Duck, no. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Da, da, da. And we'll go talk to Kenny, cause Kenny is. It's best not girl. the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job done. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Okay, Kenny. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. 
I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would've liked one then. You know. See you. I do not know what's happening up there. Seems like those two are getting along. Tractor, tractor, this kid's gonna kill someone. Why am I spoiling that? That's a tree leaf. Sometimes they're just brain dead. Hi. He's having oh. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. I'm, uh... How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. She's gonna be here. Aw. That would be funny. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Well, there's literally How about yours? You guys can go talk How's to your family? Wood. Not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. <laughs> He looks like he just That's has mom. I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> oh god, Doc, get off the tractor before you call it. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, here it was barn, 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 barn. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Ye yes, Lee, you just yelled at Sean. You just yelled at Sean. What the? What, what the frick? Teleportation. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents, They're dead. Why, girlfriend? <laughs> my parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Oh but no, I just had to remember. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. Oh, no. 
I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Oh god, I just remember what happens. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Yep, there it is. There it is. God, no. I'll get my oh, gun. such a good character. No, sure. Yeah, you help Duck and Kenny may not want to, to like you anymore. Jesus. How strong is Lee from The Walking Dead? <laughs> it's just trophies for everything in this video game. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Twenty video game dollars. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Uh -huh. Where Glee grew up. Oh, there he is. Is the boy? Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> His astonished face. Why is that shit shaking? <laughs> Aren't they actually like tease actually from the game or something? I used that on my gym locker two years ago. I had it. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. 
We don't know who these people are. Convenience. But do you see this is Lee's parents' door? Worse. They could have let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. <laughs> They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? <laughs> that lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut Jesus up. Lie. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Not kill him. Everyone chill the fuck out. Both of Nobody you. is doing anything. Chill. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're oh, about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. <clears throat> oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about a duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? You'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! Before? I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> <laughs> How easy is it for you to get basically a concussion? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Jesus, Strong language, aren't you? Thank you, Carly. Right? Hey. Also, that's gonna cause incredible ear pain. You or okay? You literally everyone. This is great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Someone has. <laughs> I gotta get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie Trigger Finger. That was <laughs> stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Shut Dad. Up. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. 
um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do I you mean, suggest? It's good we thing there's much not gas as possible, cans. so we can all get out of downtown to make it. Canned food. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. Sure. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got <laughs> cool. one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys Carly, are working on getting you your medicine. Reporter and... That's right. And you, you What's keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. He's in the actual Doug, show. You got it. Oh, yeah, Doug. And I'm Carly. Yep. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now I'm killing him. him. those pills. Okay, now we go. That's... Uh, Ooh, greeting cards. <laughs> Let me just go this way. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Wow, not in season. We can't let God. anything happen to Ducky. This way? I know, hon. Oh. I mean, we go. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Bye, Kenny. Big sad, no. I think there's supposed to be like a ladder outside or something. To get on the roof. I can't think about them in here. But a bop 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 a down. Oh wait, no, it's a picture of them. Oh. Find anything? It's a photo of the family home, this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, <laughs> that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits murderer. the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. Damn. What? Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, okay. you're a detriment to the group. Then we'd have no. 